video i am going to demonstrate the scapular region and the intermuscular spaces in this region the scapular region it contains the deltoid muscle as you can see here these are the fibers of deltoid the deltoid muscle takes its origin from the lateral one third of the anterior border of the clavicle these fibers what you are seeing here these are the middle fibers that takes origin from the acromion process of scapula and these are the posterior fibers of the deltoid so these muscle fibers takes its origin from the lower border of the spine of the scapula so this is the spine of the scapula these muscle fibers they converge together towards the deltoid tuberosity here that is present in the lateral surface of the humerus so this is the deltoid muscle the next muscle is the supraspinatus muscle to see the supraspinatus muscle i am reflecting the trapezius muscle so the muscle i am holding here is trapezius i am reflecting it downwards the muscle what you appreciate here so this are this is the supraspinatus muscle you can see here this is the supraspinatus muscle so as the name is suggesting supraspinatus means the muscle is present above supra means above the spinous process the fossa what we see here is supraspinous fossa so the supraspinatus muscle takes its origin from the medial two thirds of the supraspinous fossa and goes and gets inserted to the flattened impression present in the upper part of the greater tubercle of humerus the next muscle is the infraspinatus so the muscle we see here this is the infraspinatus muscle as the name is suggesting infra means below the spinous process so this muscle is present in the infraspinous fossa of the scapula takes its origin from the medial two thirds of the infraspinous fossa of the scapula and also from the fascia covering the infraspinatus muscle the muscle fibers runs laterally to go and gets inserted to the middle flattened impression present in the greater tubercle of the humerus running edge to edge with the infraspinatus is the teres minor muscle so the muscle i am holding in the forceps is the teres minor muscle so this teres minor muscle takes its origin from the upper two thirds of the lateral border of the scapula here then it runs laterally upwards to go and gets inserted to the lower flattened impression that is present in the greater tubercle of humerus below the teres minor muscle there is teres major muscle so these are the muscle fibers of teres major muscle and this teres major muscle takes its origin from the lower one third of the dorsal aspect of the lateral border of the scapula the muscle fibers runs laterally it goes and gets inserted to the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus now coming to the intermuscular spaces the three spaces we appreciate in the scapular region is the quadrangular space the upper triangular space diagonally opposite to the upper triangular space is the lower triangular space first let's see the upper triangular first let's see the quadrangular space 
so the quadrangular space is this space what we see it has four boundaries above below medial and lateral so above there are three structures that form the boundary from front to back from front there is subscapularis then there is capsule of the shoulder joint and the muscle what we see here this is the teres minor muscle the structure that forms the below boundary that is teres major muscle so this is the teres major muscle the structure that forms the medial boundary is the one i am holding in the forceps this is the long head of the triceps and the lateral boundary it is formed by the surgical neck of humerus so, so i am showing the surgical neck here with the forceps that forms the lateral boundary so the space is the quadrangular space so the moment we think about the surgical neck the structures that comes our mind is the is the axillary nerve you can see the axillary nerve here the one i am showing in the forceps this is the axillary nerve and along with the axillary nerve the artery what we see is the posterior circumflex humeral artery so these two are the structures that are present in the quadrangular space coming to the upper triangular space now so when the upper triangular space should be identified identify the lateral border of the scapula so when you identify the lateral border you can see the two muscles converging there one is teres minor this is teres minor below that this is the teres major so now this forms the upper triangular space above the upper triangular space is bounded by the teres minor muscle this one below it is bounded by the teres major muscle and laterally this muscle you are seeing is the long head of the triceps so the content of this space is the here we can see this is the circumflex scapular vessels and these circumflex scapular vessels it winds the lateral border of the scapula what i am holding is the circumflex scapular vessels so that completes the upper triangular space diagonally opposite to this space is the lower triangular space here so this lower triangular space it's bounded medially this is the long head of the triceps laterally we can see this is the shaft of the humerus I'm, i can feel for the shaft of the humerus here above it is by the teres major muscle so the muscle what i am holding see here these are the fibers of teres major muscle the contents of this is the radial nerve and the profunda brachii vessels so from here the radial nerve leaves this triangle and runs in the spiral groove thank you